wanted to congratulate you on your brand new spa. Um, I want to show you how easy it is to get it all started up now. So first thing you'll want to uh, locate is your drain caps, which will be in this owner's manual bag. Uh, your electrician has most likely taken this out of your equipment door, but if you can't find it, it should be in there. You just take this door off with these six screws on each side, and it should be sitting right there. Once you find it, take the drain caps and screw them on to, the, to your two drains located right there and right there. So once you have your drain caps on, you'll want to go ahead and fill the spa. There is a specific way to do this. You'll either have one, three, or five filters. There's a, one with a gray cap that you'll just simply unscrew, and you'll find a hollow pipe down there. That hollow pipe, you just shove the hose as far down as it goes and start filling. You'll want to fill right to the bottom of that pillow right there. Once the spot is filled, you'll be ready to plug it in. If you're on 110 volts, you'll have this receptacle that your electrician has hooked up to the side and you'll just plug it in simply right there. If you're on 220, the bolts will be here with a breaker box, and you will simply flip these breakers up into the on position. So now the fun part. Firing it up for the first time, we want to get the jets going. Right here, you'll just hit those jets. You might have two jet pumps, one jet pump here and another jet pump here. If you do, go ahead and press the button right next to that to activate all your jets. So we'll want to make sure that water is running to all the jets. First thing, spin this diverter valve in 360 degrees back to the 12 o'clock position. Each large jet base plate can also be spun to individually turn your jets on and off. So let's make sure all those are on. And lastly over here, you have these little air mixture valves which increase the pressure to the jets that they are located right by. So now that your spa is filled, we're ready to get into your uh, water treatment package. What we've supplied here for you is your chlorine, uh, your MPS chlorine free shock, uh, and here what we call a silver ion cartridge. Down there is your test strips and then your pH alkalinity up and your pH alkalinity down. So to start out, we're going to grab your silver ion cartridge right here, that's in this envelope, and you have two pieces in here. You have a handle, and then the cartridge itself, the handle just pops on by pushing on and twisting slightly. From there, you're going to put it down underneath this filter lid. So that gray cap that you filled the spa down in, it's right where this goes. You just drop it right down in there, screw your cap on. That is nice and tight, and you're all set with your silver ion cartridge. The next thing we're going to do is just grab your chlorine, add a little bit of this. Now, depending on the amount of gallons in your spa, uh, it will depend on how much you're going to add. You're going to go anywhere from a half a tablespoon to two tablespoons. For example, this Prodigy, 325 gallons, we're going to do one tablespoon for that. So we'll go ahead and just fill it up right here. Yeah, about a half a cap full with this cap. And we'll just make sure we're, that our jets are running anytime we add a product. Lift your lid, dump it right in there. So let's get into the readings on your test strips. It'll give you five different readings, but to make it easy on you, the, the uh, chemicals that we gave you are really only going to be focused on these middle three, your chlorine, which is FCL, alkalinity, and pH here. You can pretty much disregard your hardness and your bromine altogether. So first off, we'll focus on your alkalinity and your pH right here. The goal is to get it in this OK range, so when you dip your test strip in there and you match these colors up, you want to make sure that they end up in that OK range. If they're not, we give you two products to move them either up or down. So let's go ahead and remove one of these test strips. Dip it into the water, swirl it around for two seconds, and match it up right here. The goal is to get it right in this OK range. We want to match those colors and make sure we're in the OK on both the alkalinity and the pH. So as you can see, as I 
just scroll this over to match those colors we're right about there so for our water we're perfectly balanced right now in those okay ranges but let's say we're too high at the 180 or 8.4 we want to use the pH alkalinity down to get it into that okay range if we're too low we want to use the pH alkalinity up so while the alkalinity and the pH are two different readings on the test strip you'll notice that these bottles are labeled pH alkalinity up and pH alkalinity down because they will adjust both the pH and the alkalinity. In terms of adjusting these pH and alkalinity, you can refer to the side of the bottle, but as a rule of thumb, we generally say about one capful per square on that pH and alkalinity reading will move it up or down one square. Be sure to add these products with the jets running for about five to ten minutes.